Don't forget to click that subscribe and bell icon to receive a notification each time I upload a new video. Oh, my stomach's wrong, Ben. That was right on cue. It was, right? wasn't it? <laughs> Welcome to Steampunk Tuesday. I'm Ian. And I'm Mike. Bentley's down here. Today's project is rather outside my comfort zone, to be honest. It involved me getting my hands dirty with some distress... Is it distress? Collage medium. Collage medium. <laughs> Let's get cracking, then. Well, I sort of have an idea of what I want to make. <laughs> it looks intriguing. Well, I've been... I've, I've had this little memory box for ages, a little treasure chest. And I wasn't sure what to do with it, and then I had an epiphany. You'll be cleared up after yourself. Mm. <laughs> um, I'm going to make it into a, a memory box. It's just a, it's like a little pirate's chest thing. Yeah. Just wood, just wooden. What I've done is... Is it I, balsa? I'm not sure. I don't think so. It's very light. Right. But it's not balsa. It's, quite, it's from the works, anyway. Here in the, in the UK. UK, yeah. But Hobby Lobby do a stuff, the same sort of stuff. Yeah, and Michael's. And yeah. That kind of thing. So we have a box. Mm -hmm. Let's put it in a little tray. I have... Two room key fobs from a hotel. <laughs> no, I didn't steal them. Somebody sent them as Happy Mail. Yes, we got quite a few in Happy Mail. We didn't did. We? In fact, I purloined one, which is, um, which has my year of birth on it. You do, yeah. <laughs> it's now on my key ring. So that's those. Mm -hmm. Four purse feet. Throat box feet. Mm -hmm. An MDF ring. Yes. Painted copper. I found this in my stash. Not going to use it for anything else. No, I'll use it for this. So basically, you're using scraps. Yeah. Cool. I found two Tim Holtz wings, which have already been on the project because, as you see, there's some little holes in them. Ah, oh, yeah. But that doesn't matter. So Tim so Holtz wings. Repurpose. Repurpose. Like repurposing. An antique type Oriental. Oh, we like those. Closure. Yes, we like those. Um. Let's have a look. I'm not being very good at this. <laughs> There's a, a little thing that goes through. A like slide a catch. Slide catch, yeah. yeah. That's Oriental that. slide catch. Yeah, the box has already got one on, but it's not very nice. So you're going to swap it? I'm going to swap it. Oh, I'm going okay. to pimp it up. Bringing it up, man. Screws for said. Mm -hmm. So a little mini screws X. And I found this. My friend Lisa gave me this. It was a, in a box of bits. Lisa? Yeah, okay. John and Lisa gave me some box of little bits. So I've, I put it to one side. I wasn't sure what I was going to do with it. So what I'm going to do is use it for the top of the box. Because it's an, a nice little bit of bling. There we go. And then I've got some prints. And these are prints off um, Memory Lane, which is a, an ephemera set I've done. But what I've done is I've enlarged them and I've printed them out on photocopy paper. So I don't want it very thick to stick on the box. This is actually going to be, be a trial by ordeal for me because this sort of thing usually goes wrong for me and Mike usually has to help me. So fortunately, Mike is at my side or was at my side till the postman knocked on the front door. So to start with, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out anything nice. Yes, my lightsaber's arrived. Don't ask. Fair enough. So I'm going to cut out this one first. Are we a bit close in, do you think, Mike? Do we need to zoom out at all? No, am, I, fine. am I okay you're there? Fine. Okay. So. You've also had a parcel from a company called Crafty Critters. Oh, they're, they're little mini, mini, um, have mini uh, flat back pearls. Ah, right, okay. I use them for the rivets on the machines that I build. But they're not supposed to be here till Friday. That's very good. No, my lightsaber's not supposed to be here till tomorrow either. Oh, right. So is the postman coming back with it tomorrow? No. <laughs> Okay, so that's one. Well, I love this because it's got all the old keys, stamps, pocket watch, letters, the quill. Remember when you were young, Matt, they used to use quills, didn't they? Ha ha. Ha ha. Straight to video. <laughs> okay, so and then there's the base. I'm going to cover it all completely over. I might have a really good idea. Could you use. Oh dear. Oh dear. Back again. Postman's He's back again. Um, might use tinted vintage photo um, medium. There we go. Hope oh, this might be something for me. Is it for me? No. It's for a neighbour. 
Unless the dog's getting mail now as well. It's for number four. Oh, Adrian. It's a set of Indian spices. All right. How do you know it's a set of Indian spices? Because it says on the box. Fair enough. <laughs> I love that one, that's romantic. It is very romantic. And there's some letters tied in a bundle. And, oops, there is it. And then the other end of the box. One and two. I was just saying, I might use the distress medium. We Ooh. talked about that, didn't yes, we? The, yeah. So, all the pieces to fit on the box, that's the underneath. They all need trimming. So what I'm going to do start to start with is use my trusty electric screwdriver. Other screwdrivers are available. <laughs> Cordless. Cordless, yeah, yeah. So I'm just going to take out the screws. They're not stuck in terribly well anyway. There we are. Two. Well, I suppose they're not really made for transatlantic voyages, are they? No. do with the ones on the back is I'm um, just take these off carefully one two three and four we'll save these and put these back on it's marvelous you can count as well I know do and count yeah put those over there the reason I'm taking them off is I want to wrap the paper right the way over the top. So will you be able to find the edge again? I'm sure. I'll, I'll have a bash. If I can't get the, them in the right place, I'll just move them. It makes no difference, really. Oh, no, no. Oh. Not quite. There we are. That's fine. <laughs> That's fine. Everything's fine. fine. Nothing to see here. <laughs> so, there we go. So... That's at the front. So, I need to move that so don't just get medium all over that, do I, Mike? No. I mean, Have I brought a screw back with me? I've got a screw loose. <laughs> if only just, just one. Okay, so, what I need to do now, uh, I need to, can I use the vintage photo distress um, mat? What is it, what's it called? The, the, yeah, the vintage medium. Yeah, yeah. yeah it can, it's in that box there. Look. Is it? Yeah, the strawberry thief box. Uh, in there somewhere. I'll slap it on from our friends at Indigo Blue. No, it's going. It must All be. All the mediums are in there. Ta-da-da! That's the stuff. There we go. Distress collage media. Yes. I love the colour. Right, so this is a bit thicker. Ooh. It smells like. Ooh, it looks like caramel. Yes. I'm not sure I want to use it so actually. So it's a bit thicker than the normal matte medium. Mm. So you don't necessarily get as many bubbles. Oh, I thought it sounded that already. Okay, so... But you still have to do the front and back. Yes. Well, there's a load of lumps in it there. Yeah, I'm not very good at cleaning the edges, I'm afraid. Let's have a look. Let's get that crap out of there. Schmutz. Yeah, whatever. Want to put it in the lid? Yeah. Rather than to leave it on the edge. Yeah, then it'll drop there back in go. when I've finished. Just borrow a bit, a bit of kitchen towel, please. It's a, it's a clean scalp, a new scalpel blade today. Thank you. Oh, okay, it's like Piccadilly Circus it here is. today. It's fabulous. Hello, Disturbed the dog as well. Oh, it's, it's our neighbour. She was in. I think the postman must have been feeling lazy today, but hey ho. Right, so I have my. First piece. Did it carry? It was. She was in, wasn't she? She was in, yeah. I've just yeah. said, did you not knock loud enough? Hello, Mr. Bentley. So, I'll just put a crease in there. Come on in then. We've brought Teddy. Oh dear. Yeah, you were in bed, weren't you? Yes. <laughs> I'll have to hover on the periphery while he's playing. Okay. Right, so. Put that first, and that piece is, of course, to go onto there. What I'm going to do is, there's any any box showing through, I'm going to use this. I'm going to use um, a file 
file the edges off and then use um, a vintage photo distress ink on it. Good idea. Mm. So, what, so okay, just talk me through this, Mike. So, right, so you need to paint your substrate, so you would, yeah. with the medium. That's it. Like treacle. It, it is like treacle, but at least you can see where you're going. There we go. That's it, so you get a nice coat in. You don't need a lot, I presume. Yeah, not really. Don't know like a glue. Right, now you take mm -hmm. a piece of paper. Yep. But you want to put it on and then do the back of the, the piece of paper. Of the piece of paper. It doesn't matter if you get any on the front. <laughs> Good job really, isn't it? <laughs> there we go. Why do you do both sides, Mike? Right, if Please. you don't, the tension makes it bubble and curl. Oh. Because you've only got it pulling in one direction. If you've got it on both directions, yep. then it doesn't do it. So I lift that up. That's right, and then you place it. Also, you've got a little bit of wiggle room. I'm going to say, slippy yeah. and slide. Slippy and slidey about. That's it. And then if you... I'm going to line it up with the left right. and whatever's and sticking out on the right. That's it. Just smooth it down with your fingers. Just gently. Okay. And then you can go over the top of that now with the medium as well. To okay. seal it. Can I just, I'll just cut this little. I've got a little bit of... Do it later. Are you sure? Yeah. It's not okay. a good idea... While it's wet. To cut wet paper. Okay, and then just over the top with That's this. That's right, yeah. So that will add an extra layer of vintage -ness 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 -ness. It looks like Dolce Lecce, it doesn't does, it? It does, doesn't it? It looks almost good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Stop it. Yeah. Uh, and then... Right, sit right in that corner. Right, and that now evens out the tension and the pressure because it's not now pulling in one particular direction. See, when you add water... Oh, I like that. Or some kind of fluid to paper yeah. it will want to bend in that direction because it, it alters the tension got you it relaxes the fibers mm -hmm. in the paper but a wet wipe yes please well run the wet wipe oh in. sorry I, I didn't see them there but they're where they've always been so as i was saying I so before. it <laughs> so obviously it, re it relaxes and re um, makes the fibers in the paper looser so when you try and use it, it yeah. pulls in a certain direction. Got oh, yeah. So, I think what I'm going to do mm -hmm. is do... The, oh, my jacket. How am I going to put that on the back? How are you going to put what on the back? I was going to say what I could do is put that on the back and then work my way back forwards with it. So, I need to. do I need to dry that first? Will it dry? Does it dry quite quickly? It does dry quite quickly, but you can... Can I heat it? You can heat it. Bear with me, everyone. This is a learning curve. Stroke comedy hour. <laughs> and we're dry. Et voila. Voila. I'm just going to trim that little bit of over off, as Mike okay, said. Do you want the cutting mat back? No, I should just do it off camera. It was done. It's on my blue mat. I'm allowed to cut on the blue mat, aren't yeah. I? It's, it's getting thrown away anyway, because... Oh, yeah, somebody made it go a bit funny, yeah, didn't they? Because somebody held the heat down to it, didn't they? For too long, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Lucky to be alive, some people, aren't they? Okay. Is it still a little bit tacky? Yeah, it is. It will go off, I'm sure. Be, yeah, it will. Just be careful. Yeah. With it. Well, it will stick to this, will it? Because it's yeah. a non-stick mat. So, that's the front. So, it goes over the top of the box yeah. to there. Yeah. And what I'll do there is I'll just line that up again and just rub down the crease. Very clever way of doing it. I've had a little bit of a think about it. Really? You've thunked? I've thunked on my own, without oh, help no. from anybody else. Did you get a letter from...? I've got a certificate and everything. <laughs> do you remember, I don't know whether in the, in the US whether they used to do cycling proficiency tests. Cycling proficiency? Yeah, when I was little we did this, what was called the cycling proficiency oh, test. Oh, was this like a safety thing? For safety thing for riding your bikes, yeah. Riding your bikes. Right, that's upside down, isn't it? It's supposed to be, because that's the front it goes over. Oh, OK. Isn't it? Yeah, alright. That gets you. It gets me. Excellent. Yeah, you use the cycling proficiency test. Substrate first. Substrate first. And you, you, the policeman came and... Told uh, you off. Told you off, no. Policeman came and told you all about the road safety. It was that bit like the Tufty Club we had in the UK in the 60s where... Oh, good grief, you are just, showing your age now. It was well, 60s, I've already said 60s. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm in, I'm in knee deep now, so it makes no difference. Um, 
the Tufty Club, and it was, the idea was to get children you know about road safety and. Just for those people that don't know, Tufty was a fictional squirrel kind of character. I'm sorry, yes, he was. Um, with a huge, huge, huge bushy tail that used to do um, like public safety information for kids. Yes, and don't run out between cars. Yeah. You know, the obvious when you get a bit older, but when you're little. Well, obviously, yes. yes. So that was that was Tufty, and it was, was there was like a club, wasn't there? Yeah, Tufty Club. Yeah. yeah, I was a member. I had my badge. Um, yeah, and the cycling proficiency was the policeman came and you did the little test in the playground between bollards on your bike and stuff like that, and then the policeman would give you a certificate. And you were allowed to then ride your bike on the road, but you had to, but nowadays everybody seems to ride the blooming, blooming bikes on the footpaths. Well, yes, there is that. Which is a bit stupid. We just get to rats, rats. Nah, you just got any fingers. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Dirty. <laughs> Done the dirty. <laughs> okay, so let's just line. Bit of wiggle room. A bit of wiggle room, as Mike says, which is you just brilliant. Slide it a little bit. That's it. And then smooth it out, and then go over the top again with your vintage medium. This vintage medium is absolutely lovely. It, it is. It is. Apart from. It's supposed to be matte, but it's not, is but it? But it's not. There is a, a slight kind of satin sheen I mean, sheen we, watched, to it. we watched Tim the other Saturday, didn't we? Doing yes. his his stuff. Yeah, and he did say his that thing. it was matte, and then glossed over it. Literally. Yeah. Because we all know it isn't. Oh, and even yeah. when he showed his samples, even they were shiny. Yeah, they were. But you can get rid of the shine if you don't like the shine. You can get rid of it by just doing a coat of matte medium clear. Matte medium over the top or clear gesso. Oh, really? That will eliminate the shine completely oh. if the shine offends. Fair enough. Bear with me, I'll just dry this side. Okay, so I have finished that side. Beautifully done, if I say so myself. Now, this is the bit that's going to be the tricky one. This is the deep arch top. It's a much bigger area, and I have a feeling the paper may start to. Uh, buckle when I get it on but we'll see I must admit this is lovely it looks like Carol as I said before mm, 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 mm. there we go there's the front fortunately with it being tinted you can see exactly where you've been and also the fact that when I come to distress it with my distress ink at the edges if there's any bits showing or any bits that have chipped you're just not going to see them. It's all going to disappear. There we are. And then just this little bit here. I think I put a bit too much on one of the other sides because it was a bit, when I put it on, it was a bit lumpy. Not lumpy, but uh, a bit bumpy. When it dried, you could see some little air bubbles. I know I can't get rid of all the air bubbles, but you know, I'm a perfectionist. There we are. It's a lovely colour on its own, actually, is that? Put that there. And then this is the piece to go over the top. So, oh yeah, I think we can probably just about have enough of this uh, distress medium. Distress, distress collage medium, yes. I forgot the name right for a change. There we go. After this, I've just got the sides to do, and then we can, we can do the nice bit, the decorating bit. I mean, this is not the nasty bit, but it's just, mm, I'm very much out of my comfort zone here. But, uh, with encouragement from Mike and yourselves, I'm sure it will all go just right. There we are. Oh, got a bit of a, bit of a lump in it there. There we are. Okay, so let's pick that up. Ugh, it's horrible. Right, so just pop it on that roughly, and then I can slide. But what the edge I'm worried about, or not worried about, the edge I want to get perfect is the front edge because it carries on from in the front, and you won't see it if it's on the back, if it's a little bit out. Let's have a look. 
think that's worked rather nicely actually. A little bit of paper left at the back, there is going to be a bit of a step at the back but it doesn't matter, you won't see it. The hinges are going on top there, so I'll just push that down with my hand. There we are. There we are. So that's now stuck on there. I'll just put some matte medium onto that. Distressed medium rather, I don't need to stick to the, the side there though. Okay. It's a beautiful, beautiful colour when it goes on. As I said to I saw Tim using it last weekend and it was great to watch him use the mediums because some of them I'm not sure about. Mike knows all about it but uh, it's not sort of my thing, the mediums, but I rather like this colour. Years ago I once had, had some Wendy Vecchi um, um, when you put it through a stencil, I can't what it's called. Um, paste stuff, but it was gold colour, and when you when it dried, it looked edible. It looked like edible caramel with a beautiful gold shine to it. There we go. There we are. Okay, so that's on there. Push it on nice and thick. There we are. Oh, I'm pleased with that. Let's not give it too much rub to pull the paint off, do we? And I will just dry that now. That's my little bit of uh, the edge. I've made it a little bit longer than it should be, just in case. So I'll pop the top on there like that, move it out of the way, and I'll dry. I nearly picked that up to dry it with. What am I on? I shall dry it with this, and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, I'm sorted. Paper's just gone a little bit white at the edges, but as I just said to Mike here, all I'll do is I'll just, when I use my distress ink, just over the edge, you're not going to see it. Yes, I am back. You're back. <laughs> so that's how that lines up on there. Looks very good. Yeah, the, that side's a little bit off, because I had to cut five mils off there. Yeah, but it's the back. It's the back. You don't Once see. the hinges go on. Yeah. Again. Again. Back on. Lovely. Lovely. So we've got the sides now. Mm -hmm. So the sides again. Just going to offer. Are they are the sides, are they? Yes, they are. Just make sure they fit. <laughs> oh, yes. Plenty of that. <laughs> so we'll take it from one edge and just measure it in. They're going to do it from the front. So are they different, are they different patterns? They don't run on. Yeah, this runs on. It'll run on to the, the top. Right. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take that as my edge there on that one. The chair's been rather squeaky. Yours are mine. It is the chair, not me. Yeah. Uh, they all say that, don't they? I'll just trim this off camera because I've got a cutting mat here. Just open the door just in case Mr. Bentley comes back. He's gone back to bed again. Oh, I threw a teddy for him once and that's it. All of it much trim today. There we are. One. And that's the edge. That. So I'll just cut that. Just there. Don't put on the mat. No, please don't. I'm in enough trouble as it is. There we are. <laughs> That's one, and that one will go onto there. Excellent. So same process then. It's same process again, and we'll be back to you when it's all dry and stuck on. Well, we may as well do the other side as well because they've seen you do three already now. Yes. So there's no point doing the fourth. No, there isn't. Um, because they've all seen how it, how it works. Yeah. So, so we'll just come back when you're ready to do what the the top part of the edges. I'll come back. Well, yeah. Come back when I'm when I'm just about to do the top. Yeah. Lovely. Okay. So I've done that side. Look at that. <laughs> Don't worry about the little bits of white. They'll all cover it with the distress ink. And now I'm going to do the last one, which is. This side, and mm. this is. So you finished off that small part there, yeah. and then you did the other side. Yeah. So I wanted to flip it over again. Yeah. Yeah. So, so that's the one that you did. Then you did the other one. Yeah. And then you've just done that one, and you're going to show them how you did that final I end. I am. I am. Okay. Got a difference in the colour. Yes. Well, that's the 
vintage. It is. Yes. <laughs> That's the vintage. Vintageness. Okay, so I'm going to put put it on the edge there. Mm -hmm. So you can line it up. I'm just going to rub very lightly with my nail, and that creates a an exact shaped kind of crease all the way around. So you, once you've done it, you just turn it over will. so everybody can see. There you go. Well, hang on. There you go. Yeah, you can see it there. You can see it now. Yeah. And that's what you can follow. Yeah. I'll just cut roughly out to start with. Okay. And I'll just go over the map, please, Mike. Mm. I, I prefer to use a cutting map. <laughs> right white. Right white. Okay, so. Can you see it? No. That's better. So I can see a crease there. You have to be able to go really slowly with it. There's no but point. You, you could, if you wanted to, just go around it with a pencil, couldn't you? So you, you could, could lay it down flat and then just go around the outside and then just cut on the inside of the pencil mark. Yes, you could if do. your eyesight isn't well, I put up to snuff. Well, I found that difficult. Oh, yeah. Find what difficult? Trying to find that line then. That's a quick look. Oh, wrong one. There we are. Let's have a look at that. Yeah, we can rub that over there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That's I a go. It's one of those projects that you can, even if there's a little bit Thank you, love. Of, of a gap, and that's what distressing was invented for. Yes, it was. Wasn't it? Covering multitudes of sins. Absolutely. Mike also pointed out when he came back in that I'd forgotten to wash to wipe down the mat, and it is quite difficult to get off the mat. So I've washed the mat with a baby wipe. If you if you let this collage medium dry, yeah, it, it's an absolute mess. It's a devil's your own to get off. It is. It's a mess to get off. So clean up as you go along. Yeah. So if you clean up after each section yeah it's a lot easier and that way you don't end up working in a a corner in an inch square in the which corner. is what i was doing when he came back in mm. we did have words but in a nice way yeah i just did the ping of the postman i hope he's not coming back again <laughs> sounds a bit sickening today there we are just line that up well at least our post is um is back to normal anyway he's a nice man is our post yes well, we have a posty and a posty lady. Postman Pat and Postman Patricia. <laughs> there we go. And then just a little bit on there. I'm just going to put some on the edges just to glue the edges down yep. as well. Dry this lot, and then I'll come. Well, I'll be back in two shakes of a donkey's tail. Poor donkey. Poor donkey. Okay. okay, look at that. It's lovely. Lovely, isn't it? Match. <laughs> Matches up. And I've also done the underneath. Got a bit of a problem, but not sorted itself out. <laughs> I was just going to use ordinary distress ink, and Mike just said to me, You can't. So I said, Why? It's supposed to be worse thing. So, Ordinary distress ink is water based. Yeah. You've just put a sealer on it. Yeah. So it's not going to stick. So I'm using Mike's archival. Answer. So we're using the archival solvent distress ink, the vintage photo. One, yeah. And that will, obviously, it will stick. I'm just going over the edges. And it will hide a multitude of sins. <laughs> I'm banking on it. <laughs> Okay, so that's where we lost a little bit of the, the paper. Yeah, but again, you can build up the colour. If you let it dry, then go back in and just dab over the top that's again. perfect. Yeah, it will hide a lot. I mean, obviously, if you add alcohol or solvent to solvent, it just wipes it yeah. straight off again. But if you let it dry, yeah, then just dab over the top. It will build up. That's lovely. I'm just going to... Just tint this wood on the inside of the lid a little yeah. bit, just on the edges. Just 
just so it doesn't look so stark. Yeah, it does it does work as a really nice kind of wood stain. I used to remember when I first started doing the machines, I used to use the Tim Holtz stain and, and stain everything with it. Yeah. And that got a bit silly. But expensive. Yes. <laughs> there we are. So I've gone around all the edges. Like I said, you can build it up and build it up and build it up until you're happy. It has disappeared. Yes. Okay, that's one. That's well, most of them. Thank heavens, Betsy. Oh yeah, which is the front? That's the front. Yeah. And I always think when you're adding distress, you think where where are the fingers going to do? How is it going to be held? Yes. Most of the yeah. years. So if you think where it's going to be picked up, where it's going to well, it's be handled, the corners are the ones that get grubby, aren't they? The yeah, bottom corners. Usually. This is the back. The effect is lovely. I'm very pleased with it. As I was saying before, when you were um, sorting the dog and the postman out, this is out of my comfort zone, really, isn't it? Well, it is, but it isn't. Because when you first started to do your steampunk stuff, you created a couple of boxes and a couple of machines that had papers. Oh yeah, on I them. did. Yes, I did. I mean, you, if I remember rightly, one of the very first machines you ever made was kind of like a steampunk tricorder, like from Star Trek. It was. In fact, if I even remember its name, the Geophysometer. Yeah, and that belongs to our friend Dave Mick and Kerry. Mm. If they're watching, hi Kerry, hi Dave Mick. And, and it looked like a, an old. Star Trek tricorder. Yeah, it did. Um, but you did a similar sort of thing to that. Do you remember the box I did? The treasure box? Yes. <laughs> Which you've still got. I have. I just want to get rid of that, so I'll just... Well, that's it. Ta-da! It's gone. Like I said, the best way is to, to leave it to dry and then if you want to come back and do it, but don't, you know, you can't just keep layering. No, because it, it just keeps coming off, won't it? Yeah. Just Let's keep... give it a quick, a quick blast with a heat gun. Mm -hmm. Just set all this. Right, we're all distressed to did it up. Looks lovely. It does look lovely, doesn't it? We need some feet for it. So, I have the four. Like massive brads, aren't they? That's exactly what they are. Mm. But mm. these are what you have on the, the bottom of a, of a bag or a handbag. A handbag, yes. Yes. So <coughs> what I'm going to do, I'm going to find, just going to place one of them on and see if I like the position. If I do, I will let's move that across to the end. I will mark it. So we'll say about there. Mm -hmm. So that will sit in the corner there. Yeah. So I'm just going to mark it like that. And with it being fairly softish wood. Oh, it's perfect for that, yeah. And then I, go, I use the lines on the ruler. Which is always a good idea. As a guide. Two. Um, half an inch in, which is there. But again, it's going to be underneath. Yeah, but so. what's what's my mantra? <laughs> what is your mantra? I don't know. Explain to me what a mantra is. I like everything to be perfect, well, wherever yes. it is. Yeah. Right. I will go go and drill those in the garage so I can put the feet in. Yeah. So if you have a look at the size of the actual arms of the brad, you will need to drill. Yeah. Drill and then you fold over on the inside. Yeah. Be careful you break your nails with these. They, they are quite so strong, aren't they? Yeah. So I'll be back in two shakes. You may notice that the feet are a little smaller than the ones you saw earlier. The other ones are far too big. Mike said, oh, they're a bit, I think they're a bit big. It was the legs, I think, the, the arms yeah. of the brad. But I didn't like them. They were, they were too big, you were right. So I'll swap them for some dinky ones. And they've only got tiny little back, backs on them. 
So, so smaller legs. Smaller legs, yes. Well, legs or arms, whichever way you yeah. want to call them. All I need to do is to push them in. Yeah. Like that. I mean, they, they are small enough as well, you could cut them if you wanted to. Oh, yeah. You could just snip them. Also, if you're going to line it, you see that will cover it up. Yeah. Just line it with a bit of self adhesive. Um, what's it called? Felt. Yes. Because that's very, very good for inside. In fact, Dad gave me some, didn't he? He did. So I, I, what I've done now is I, I, I have um, substituted the adhesive on the back for our own adhesive, the adhesive of the devils, <laughs> because it takes your fingerprints off. There we are. And then move that out of the way. Just. You're just using the brad oil. I'm using the brad oil yeah, just to open them up. You can use your fingers, but it's easier to use for me a bit longer because you've got a little bit of a. Uh, Little bit of um, leverage. So there's three on there, and then they just look the part. They do. And number four, there. So again, I could just use the top of the scalpel, push them down. They're, they're great, they're brilliant, but you lose all your nails. <laughs> so they're the feet. Mm -hmm. That's brilliant. So Long way around. We'll put the hinges back on now and then we can get started with the decoration. So, hinge wise, they are in here one and two. I have no idea where they were before, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just going to put them on where I think they should go. If they're in a different position, they're in a different position, it doesn't matter. Let's have a look, so might as well measure something. Let's have a look. About there, I think. Just making sure you line up the the barrel of the hinge to the yeah to the to the edge. Yeah, because if that's like that, yeah, that's it. That's it there, like that. Superb. I'll do my best. Okay. I may actually be in the right place. No, I'm not, but it doesn't matter. It's actually, I think it's going to be better if I don't use the same holes, Mike. Why is that? Because they'll be sl they're sloppy. Do you remember when we were trying to take them out, they kept going round and round? Right, okay. So you're creating new ones. Yeah, and then just a little Phillips screwdriver. Crosshead. Yeah. yeah, in Europe we call them Phillips, don't we? But crosshead screwdriver, yeah. Are they the same ones? I'm a little bit shaky. They're a bit smaller, these for me. The ones in the bag are for putting the lock on the front. Mm. Now, just looking at the, the screws that you took out for the, the locking mechanism. Oh, yeah. Just comparing them to how they are with the hinge. They look, they look the same. Do they? Yeah. Would you just be able to just mark the middle of those, please, with your the bra doll? So, thank you very much indeed. All right. Yep. And then I'll just screw these in. Just got two screws. There we are. I'm not using the electric to put them back in because it'll mush them up. <laughs> Too much force. Taking them out is easy. Yeah, but when you're screwing back in screwing again, back you, in again, you don't really want to be. If it's delicate, you really don't want to be using electric force. No. I forgot this. This, this screwdriver is magnetic. It picks the it picks the uh, screws up. Fabulous. So that's one on, and then. The second one needs to go about the same distance apart. About, what do you think, Mike? About there? Yeah, it looks equal. It looks equal, doesn't it? I'll put one on there and one on there. Oh, the buzz there, it wasn't me. No, it was just eBay telling me that my lightsaber's been delivered, <coughs> which I already know. You know, we, we, we were here when it's it nice them to let me know. It is, isn't it? And I've just 
just had my iPad and bong downstairs. I'd like to the same thing, probably. Probably, yeah. There we go. Like every device in the house just starts bonging. Yeah, it does. You've got a parcel, you've got a parcel. They all get so excited. <laughs> there we are. And just two more. And what we'll do next, we'll put on the... Watch this. Oh, very clever. We'll put on the catch on the front and then yes. we can make the nice... It's a little bit too big is this uh, screwdriver, but it'll be all right. I should have used one of my watchmakers ones. Well, it does the trick. It does the trick, doesn't it? Right, moment of truth. It works. Hurrah! Yay. Hurrah! Okay, so, I've got that. We'll now put on the very, very, very nice... Should I put it on or not? It seems to cover up all the niceness. I like it. When that goes on, it's a bit big and it covers up all that lovely... Just do it. Okay. Yes, sir. Right, I'll just put it all together in one. It's much easier to put on if you get it all lined up to start with. Not too tight, though, because if you put it on too tight, it will not undo. Well, that's not really a good idea for a memory box, is it? <laughs> not really. A memory box that won't undo. The top piece wants to line up with the crack of the box, like that. Let's just have a quick measure. Oh, this is in the this is in hinges, one and three quarters. Just check that side. Oh! Anybody think I've done this before? <laughs> and three little holes. One. Put those two in first. These are slightly longer screws because it's a slightly bigger plate. There we are. Oops, there's it. That's not going properly. That's it. There we are. One. Hello Chuckin. There's a little fairy baby boy that's just come in here. Yes, they've come to see what's going on. Since you're very quiet, Dad, what are you doing? <laughs> uh, what have you come to tell me? What have you come to tell me? Is it lunchtime? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's, lunchtime? it's always lunchtime for him. <laughs> well, if Mr. Bentley Bob's goes downstairs, Mr. Bentley Bob's has got lunch in. Find a full bowl of tuna fish. <gasps> Oh! I didn't seem to want it earlier though. There we are. And then just put the third one in. Who you brought? Who's this? Who is it? Target Ted! Oh! There we are. So the top piece is on. And I've just got to put the bottom piece on now. There it is. Don't drop him over there. I can't reach him, can I? You know what it's like when you've got children. Especially when they want to play. Yes. Right, okay, so that's that one. Children, eh? Who'd have them? Well, those, actually. Furry babies. Yeah. Not real children. <laughs> okay, so that's that one. There we go. Is it on? Almost. Marvellous. Then we've got the best bit to come, which is making all the top, the top bit, the cluster to go on the lid. Oh, there we are. Exciting stuff. These little, these little catches. I bought them years and years and years ago yeah. from eBay, and. As Mike said, I went to a stage of making lots and lots of boxes. In fact, I'm going to show them something. Okay. As long as it's not dusty. <coughs> oh, 
there. There you go. That's what I made for you, wasn't it? Yes. This is where I keep all my steampunk medals and pins <laughs> and dials Those and, and that feet kind of are stuff. Ace, aren't yes. they? It's been made a long time. Yeah. Five but years. Similar sort of. Yeah. That one's a square one, though. Yeah. That's been... I love this. Is, this is very much treasured, this one. There we go. Okay, so then. There we are. Okay, so we've got the lock on the front. Oh, that's that's brilliant, Mike. It's not moving at all. Oh, fantastic. Okay, so that's done. So next, we need to start and make the thing, make the centerpiece for the top. Mhm. Mm so the centerpiece for the top yes. consists of the two Tim Holtz numbers, not Tim Holtz numbers, the numbers okay. we got from a customer, Tim Holtz. So often is though, isn't it? Yes. The Tim Holtz wings. And the gorgeous centerpiece. I'm not doing it like that. I'm going to put them onto there. So they're stuck up in the air, and then the wings will go on, and then the centerpiece will go on top of those. Oh, look at that! Like that. Beautiful. So I think I'm going to make this make this make this piece to start with mm -hmm. on its own. So, so you're going to cluster this first. Yeah, I'm going to cluster it, then stick it on, because I think okay. it's, it's going to be easier than trying to, mm -hmm. to do it on the box. And um, what glue are you going to use? I'm going to use my very fast 90 second glue. Brilliant stuff. I would like, however, something to mix it on. Oh, what's this? Use the shiny side. Oh, this looks interesting. <laughs> okay. Let's move the heat gun out of the way. Move that over there. There we are. There. There's air in it. That's better. <laughs> Is that what they're calling it these days? Yes, it wasn't me. I can't tell a bit of mould. Right, there we are. So mix the glue up. So it's 90 second glue. It is absolutely brilliant. It's not it's not cheap, but you pay for what you get, as my dad used to say. <laughs> Give it a good old Your dad was full of little gems like that, wasn't he? It was. Okay, so a little bit on that. I don't need a lot. So just glue in the clump together. So one. Two. See it doesn't matter if you can see a little bit of glue because you will not see it when it's finished because it will all cover up with the big centre that's going on. Let's have a look. Just move that around a little bit, down a little bit. There we are. One, two. If we're quick, we'll probably be able to get the wings on at the same time. Just this addition it up there. Get the wings a little upturn. That's it. And that one can have a little upturn too. There we are. The biggest problem I have with them trying to do the wings is trying to decide when they're level. <laughs> I think. Mike, could you just have a quick look for me, please? Mm. I think they're level, aren't they? Yeah. Obviously, we're not really bothered about... Not bothered about the holes, because that's going to go on there. I think that's fine. Well, the thing with these is you can always tilt, can't you, just to yeah. level them up. But I think that's pretty much it, yeah. Yeah, cool. That looks really nice. Right, I'll let those dry for a moment. I've got glue on my hand. Wash it off. Oh, yeah, I don't want to get it on Mike's best mat. <laughs> best knot. Best knot, yes, indeed. Oh, this is going to peel off this mat, isn't it? it this should white do. one. It should do, yeah. I don't like the word should. <laughs> Will is the word I'm looking for. Right, let's have a look. Oh, 
we doing? Yeah, we're, near, we're, we're, we're almost set there. And then we have our, our blingy bit that's going to go in the middle. Bling. Our blingy bit. Let's have a look. Let's pull them forward a little bit. To be honest, if you stick them on and just hold it while it sets, it's going to that's going to be perfect. Just flatten the base a little bit, which is good for these because it's quite quite playable. Yes. There we go. And then that'll go in there, something like that. That looks lovely. So we'll just let these dry for a minute first. And yeah, I think, I think that's what the thing the thing is I think I'm going to put the glue behind those two because I think it's going to hold it all all up and then we can just maybe put a little bit more at this side mm -hmm. so it it nests okay let's have a look because it's not a flat back you see all right so let's just try and do its thing very shiny. It's like a bit of a thing. Yeah, so I think put it there and then we'll just let it uh, set. Yes. So, a bit more of this lovely glue. There we are. Put plenty on there. It's quite hypnotic, isn't it? Oh, Where it yeah. comes out together. Oh mm. no. But when you go, you want to get it at one side. If you do that and mix it up, it will not set. No. We did a class years ago and we used a two part epoxy, and one other lady wanted to know why a thing she was making didn't stick. Do you remember? She was only doing the one side. She was just using one side of the glue. So she wasn't mixing it. It was coming out, she was using one side, then the other side. It's not sticking. So you're mixing it up. She says, no. Why? It's not the end. I thought it might be in, in the title, you know, two part, pick, two part, po two part epoxy, but you know, <laughs> bless. Indeed. Indeed. Right. So there we are. There we are. Yeah. <sighs> you just get it on your fingers. Yes. Get messy. And now that's it. That's, that's, that's the one there. So that perfect wants to go on like that. Yeah. And that needs to well, just gravity will hold it down, won't it? Yeah, it needs, yeah. To, needs to set for a little while. Excuse, <laughs> excuse head. There we go. Oh, look at the grey. Oh, my <laughs> neck. Right, I'll just leave that to set for five minutes and I'll be back. Lovely time to put the kettle on. Okay, so it's all dry now, is the centrepiece for the top. I've brought in the trusty glossy accents, the trusty flat back pearls, and the very, very, very trusty but very aged pickup tool. So I'm just going to pop some little rivets on these and make sure it works. Here we go. So, as you would when you, like for a clock. So, let's just get that to work. There we are. One, two, three, four, five six seven put those on first and then i'll do the same with the other side one two three don't forget it dries completely clear so you won't see it well it's near as clear doesn't it mike oh yes there. Just turn it round and do the same thing on this side. There we go. So one, two, three, one goes under that. There should be one there, one there and one up there. 
just tuck in them under just give the effect that they do keep going round they might not be in exactly the same but right place but it gives the overall impression that they are Oh, that looks much better with those on. It was a little bit plain before. What do you think, Mike? Oh, yes. A bit more steampunky. Yes. And then that, I'll just push that in and tuck that under. It's all about dimension, isn't it? It is. There we go. And then we have the box, of course, which is finished. It's got the catch on it. The little hinges. And it's also got the little feet underneath as well. So I'm going to do, because glossy accent is brilliant for anything. It's a little bit of the epoxy must have leaked through. <laughs> one there, one there, and just go around. And leave that to set. So, just find the centre, which is about there. Talk about maybe right a, to you, mate. Maybe a bit more towards the right. Okay. Yep. Yeah, that's that's, it. that looks more centre to me. And then I'll just leave that to dry. Just... Lunchtime. Lunchtime. We'll be back after we've had a sarnie. <laughs> and a cup of tea. Yes. And possibly a biscuit. Well, we're all done. I think it's somewhere to get your crown jewels, Mike. <laughs> You'd never get my crown jewels in there, kiddo. Disgusting. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, let me just work my way out. Uh, oh, that's it. It's... Look at the bling. Look at that lovely bling. So yeah, I'm, I'm very, very pleased with that. I think the papers look ace. Mm. The fact that you've got them to line up on the sides and everything is, is great. It's a little bit out there. But and then of course there's a little bit underneath as well. But like we said, you can always go back and add extra, oh, yeah. extra dimension, a bit of extra... Um, Bit of extra grunge if you want to. Oh yeah, and a nice lock. Yeah, and I like the fact that you've got the key coming out from underneath. Yeah, the lock. yeah that looks really, really good. Yeah, that was planned, not <laughs> planned, not. Yeah. yeah. So I hope you've enjoyed it today. I have really enjoyed making this. It's a very unusual thing for me to make. Um, and thank you for watching. You know the rest. I do know the rest. What about them? <laughs> <laughs> so. Um, with the, the announcement this week of the prolonging of lockdown restrictions here in the UK, they were supposed to be, uh, although hoping, to lift all kind of COVID restrictions by the 21st of June. That isn't going to happen now. It's being put back off now until, uh, or the decision won't be made until now the 19th of July, mm. which means that a couple of the shows that Ian was planning on going to and attending may not happen now. We're waiting to hear. Um, so we're not really sure what you're going to be doing Steampunk Tuesday wise. No. Um, obviously you're going to continue until you need to start building your stock up again. When for I shows. can, yeah. Yeah. But if not, I can always step in and do a couple of Steampunky projects on a yes. Tuesday yeah. uh, if you're not able to. Thank so you. there will still be some Steampunk Tuesdays happening over the next month or two. Yeah. Um, whether it's Ian or whether it's me, don't know, but you'll still get them. So <coughs> hopefully I've got a couple of ideas for doing some um, steampunk textures, how oh. to create steampunk textures oh. as in rusts and that kind of stuff. Lovely. Um, so we'll, we'll do those maybe next week. So if you've enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up, share the video with your friends. And if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel already, you can do so by clicking the button at the end of the video. That's all from us for today. We'll see you all again very, very soon. What are you going to do with it now? I don't know. <laughs> She'll put it to one side. <laughs> and decide later. Yes. <laughs> Bye for now. I'd like to say a huge thank you to all of my angels because without you these videos would not be possible. Thank you. <laughs>